Hello, welcome to the Media Box. I'm joined by Maria Badeva, who is a youth delegate from Bulgaria and also a keynote speaker on smart cities and regions. I'm also joined by Maria Swolstein, who is a youth delegate from Germany and a keynote speaker on regional identities. So this is both of your second times uh, coming to the Congress. What uh, are your thoughts on the session so far? Um, it's really great to be here for a second time. First of all, we, we feel more prepared and uh, we feel like, again, like um, part of the Congress and to see the different ways in which the Congress works and to familiarize ourselves with the work of the Council of Europe as well. And so far, some of the highlights of the, se the, for uh, the 43rd session so far uh, include the election of a new Secretary General for a five-year term. Also, there was a speech by the the um, Irish Minister on the State of Planning um, and we were both keynote speeches on different topics, me personally on smart cities and regional, regions and human rights based approach towards the governance and the planning of smart cities. And today we will have another productive uh, day full of interesting topics, debates and agenda items amongst which the uh, human rights and the environment and the role youth play uh, in that. And also at the end of the day we will have uh, presentations uh, of uh, selected youth delegates who will um, showcase their uh, grassroots projects that they have implemented uh, during their um, mandate as youth delegates. And Marius, your thoughts so far? Well, I can definitely rejoin my colleague with all of the comments that she made. I think it's also good to see how yeah, the reports evolved all over the, uh, of the course of the year or of the course of the summer. Because when we were talking uh, on, for example, the agenda item of hate speech in March, it was a free debate. And now we actually got a report and to comment on the report. And really to see how the progress is evolving is really great. Also. Yeah, just rejoining with the other youth delegates again. It's amazing to see how we were all doing over the course of the summer, how the projects have evolved, and just to reconnect because often it's just that projects happen once and then it's over. But here with the Rejuvenating Politics Initiative, it's amazing that it's really like over the course of the whole year and we can see our progress and support each other over the way. And you're both keynote speakers. Can you tell us about what your contribution has been uh, to the Congress so far? Uh, yes, so um, yesterday uh, I had the chance and the opportunity to speak on the topic of smart cities and regional, regions, a human rights based approach. And um, uh, as an architect and also urban researcher, this was a topic that is uh, also really close to me as a professional. Uh, so my emphasis was actually that smart cities shouldn't see technology as the aim, essentially, but a tool to realize better urban environments. Uh, also, I had a chance to emphasize that youth participation is especially important because youth are the future citizens of uh, actually cities and their voice is really important. So as um, the 1.3 policy uh, sector of the um, revised charter um, of the participation of young people in uh, uh, local and regional life emphasizes, young people should be uh, included in uh, decision-making processes related to the urban environment and also the Habitat 2 agenda and also the uh, Agenda 21, which are both uh, United Nations uh, documents related to the environment and also the um, habitat uh, in general. They emphasize that uh, youth participation is really important uh, in order to create better urban environments. Uh, so um, yeah, my speech was um, mainly about that, but also that uh, successful smart cities have to start with people rather than blindly believing that technologies themselves can automatically uh, transform and reform and improve cities. So. Um, technology should be the aim, not not uh, should be the tool, not the aim to achieve these um, these aims. Okay. And Marius, what were what's your what's been your contribution so far? So what I think first is very important to say that I find it very valuable that we can add a very young perspective to the agenda items and to yeah diversify really um, the contributions that we hear throughout the Congress. And for me, it was very important to talk on the topic of um, regional identities because I myself grew up in Eastern Germany, uh, what used to be the GDR. 
And it's really interesting to see that, for me, the state ceased to exist over 30 years ago, but then still up to this day, people are still feeling connected to the state, and that, of course, reflects on us as well. So addressing regional conflicts and their impact on generations to come was really interesting for me and really yeah, a topic due to my heart. And also then touching upon methods to, uh, on how to prevent regional conflicts and to seek dialogue uh, in between regions and also promote yeah, the cooperation between regions and especially in the youth sector. Because for us, you can see that we are growing such a European identity which wouldn't have been possible 30 years ago. No one could have imagined that our generation now feels just connected. So yeah, talking about how regional identities are uniting actually the European continent and diversifying our cultures is just something that is amazing. Thank you so much, both of you, for uh, coming to the Media Box today. Thank you, too. Thank mm -hmm. you.